I got to watch some fucking TV this week, and I got to tune in to True Crime, uh, True American Story, True Crime Story, whatever this shit's yeah. called, impeachment. True crime about story. the impeachment of uh, Bill Clinton and his affair with Miss Monica Lewinsky. Now I'm not gonna lie, man. I I finished the Aaron Hernandez doc. It actually ended up being pretty good. It ended it. It ended like with no resolve. It's yeah. kind of like it just ended. But when it ended, this started. And I was like, shit, I'll check it out. Now, I think, what was this, 98? 98, 97, 96 this time? Around 90, that time. About it was after the second time. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so that made me anywhere from 9 to about 11, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, yeah. We were alive. So I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. But at the time, this was big news. Um, But they start this shit with, this lady named Linda Tripp. And I remember hearing that name, and I never knew why that name was so popular. Apparently, the Republicans, Linda Tripp, and this lady named Paula Jones. Linda Tripp worked at the White House, got fired, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They moved her to the Pentagon, and I think the Secretary of Defense, the Defense Office. She didn't like that shit. She loved working at the White House. She wanted her job back. So she was trying to get her job back. So she was on a mission. To, to prove there was some injustice going on at the White House, somebody who worked at the White House had just get, killed themselves, a close friend of Bill. Now, watching this shit, I ain't gonna lie. I wish they would just tell stories about presidents like this, so you, because it kind of humanized them. Like, nigga said Bill was cool, but when I watched this, Bill is like, was like, I was like, oh, this nigga cool. Not for the cheating, though. I thought he was cool by how the actor portrayed him and how he handled his business, but I'll move forward. Paula Jones was a lady. That was working for Bill Clinton in Arkansas before he became the president. And apparently there was an incident where Bill Clinton pulled out his penis and told her to kiss it. And so her boyfriend found out and urged her to press charges against the president. They go get lawyers. They file a lawsuit. They offer her $700,000. She was going to take the seven hundred. I was going to take the Republicans was already trying to build a case on him anyway, and they was going to use Paula Jones and a list of people who said Bill Clinton. It was a list of women said Bill Clinton did something to them that they did not want. They was going to use this to try to get him impeached. The Republicans didn't like Bill. And so Paula Jones was going to go away for 700 k but her boyfriend was like, you deserve an apology. So you should just stick around and get your apology. So she did it like a dumbass. <laughs> That's one of the storylines. Now, this is how Monica Lewinsky gets caught up in this shit. Because in the world, I didn't know how Monica Lewinsky got up, caught up in all of this shit. After watching this show, I'm going to tell y'all right now. Monica Lewinsky was 24 years old. Mm. She was a real, real was inter- na- a real intern. Real intern. She was a real naive, sweet girl. I even went to look her up because I remember she was kind of plump. But now that I look back at it, she really wasn't that big of a girl. Uh, she was nice, she was naive, and Bill Clinton seen it, and he played off of it. Mm-hmm. He was like, yo, she's sweet. They were in about a two-year relationship together. I guess you could call it that. Now, Monica worked at the Secretary of Defense, too. She used to work at the White House, but during the shutdown, her and Bill got close, and he moved her over there. So she was working with Linda Tripp. Linda Tripp had this agenda. It was like, yo, I'm trying to get the motherfuckers at the White House. I'm going to write a tell-all book. When she found Monica Lewinsky, Monica Lewinsky would tell anybody that she knew that she was fucking Bill. Damn. Just like a, just like a woman. <laughs> Shit, bro. Girl, <laughs> I'm a Bill. <laughs> God damn. You gonna take all you gonna take uh, everybody? You gonna, you gonna point the blame at the uh, her? Man, that's why I ain't fuck no, go ahead. But <laughs> this what no listen. <laughs> Although she would t- like she told her mother, she told her friend. And so she started talking to Linda Tripp about Bill. So she was like, yo, I can write a book on this shit, get my money, and take Bill down because he shouldn't be doing this shit. (sighs) So her publisher said, you should record the phone conversations. When I say Linda Tripp is an intolerable bitch, she was just that. She would sit up on the phone for hours recording this girl talking about Bill, the sex capades, just recording it tape after tape after tape after tape. That's crazy. It was real fucked up because Monica thought this girl was a friend. If y'all know anybody who's naive, 
and already are been around somebody who's a little naive, you kind of want to protect them, not use them like that. It was mm-hmm. actually kind of fucked up to watch. So, man, Bill going through all this shit with these cases. He got Osama bin Laden wilding overseas. He got a bunch of shit going on, re-election, all kinds of shit. And Monica's obsessed with this, man. She's She pops up at places, not unannounced, but she knows it, where he's going to be. She'll come. She bought him gifts, ties, shit like that. Now, this uh, lady, Linda Tripp, she's working on... She's working on this book. She's working on, like, releasing all this information, but the time got to be right. Everything got to line up. So now, Paula Jones' case is about to go to court, and the nigga Bill is, like, getting a list of the people that's going to be bought in for questioning to testify. And Monica Lewinsky's name was on that list because of Linda Tripp. So that's how her name got caught up in the list. It's it's, It's a real good story. But Monica was such a trooper. And that's the thing that stood out to me. She was a ride or fucking die. When she found out she had to testify against Bill, she was like, I won't do it. I'm not testifying against Bill. I'm not telling them shit. He didn't even have to give her the whole speech. He gave his, uh, there's a part in there where he's in the Oval Office. His secretary is a black woman. He calls her in the office. He looks her square in the eye. He says, you know Monica Whiskey, right? She goes, "Mm mm-hmm. And every time Monica come up here, you be in here with us, don't you? And she was like, yeah, I do. And she was like, they call you to testify. You wouldn't say anything otherwise because that wouldn't be true. And she was like, nope, I wouldn't. That nigga real he was pimp. Like, Have a good day. Like, Bill was real, real cold in this movie, man. Like, real cold. And he lied to Hillary till he couldn't lie no more. You know nobody want Hillary? <laughs> 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 no, after looking at Monica, I didn't blame him. I was like, no, nobody want Hillary. And the crazy part is the way they say the house, White House is built, the bedroom was right down the hall from where you fucking. Oh, shit. So you in the office, the bedroom like down the hall. So oh, you, so damn, yeah. niggas really be living in there. Yeah. In the White House. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, they live in there. Yeah, man. That's they crazy. in the studio apartment. Bro, I ain't staying nowhere after Joe, but go ahead. <laughs> That nigga probably pissing all it in the probably bed. probably pampers and shit uh, everywhere. Please shut up. Definitely. That nigga rocking the panty liner. Unfinished Yo, ass crossword crazy. puzzles. Please shut Sudoku. up. Sudoku. That nigga tries Sudoku. Can't even get it. He just put a one in that bitch and said, fuck it. This nigga. <laughs> please shut up. <laughs> fuck it. I can't get it. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, man, so anyway, man, this nigga Bill, man. So anyway, <laughs> Bill get the list. Bill Bill know everybody. She signs an affidavit saying basically like, yo, me and Bill ain't never fucked. What end up happening is Linda Tripp, like, I got to make this move. She go take the tapes to her lawyer. Her lawyer like, yo, it's illegal to tape somebody without their consent. She was like, fuck. He was like, let me handle this problem with you. Somehow, these tapes end up getting in the wrong hands. Now you got hours of detailed confirmation. So Monica Lewinsky's Alpha Davis saying that, yo, I ain't fucked that nigga. It's basically null and void. You lied yep. under oath. Yep. So now the feds come get her, which Linda Tripp set the whole shit up. She called and said, hey, meet me for uh, lunch. It was really a trap to get the feds on you. So the feds come. They say, hey, you got to cooperate. Or are you going to jail? So she gets immunity if she cooperates and she ends up telling everything. This nigga Bill lost it. When he found out there was tapes and how much information was put out there, it went from <laughs> it went it went from we had in, inappropriate intimate moments to okay. No, it went from we didn't have sex at all to we had inappropriate intimate moments. I didn't know Bill was a lawyer. Something I uh, learned yeah. watching this. Bill Him was a Hillary. lawyer. So when they called Bill in for questioning, the reason why he always said on TV he never had sexual relations with that woman is because at that point in time, he had never had sexual relations with that woman. Because by definition, by uh, from the Paula Jones case, he didn't have any sexual relations. Oral sex don't count under that. Hey. And I don't think penetration had to count up under that. I don't know what's relations. It means y'all, y'all got to be in love. I looked it up, man. It's it's to touch with the intent to arouse. Oh. 
That's what it means to have sexual relations. So what he was, they just, was trying doing to get his, he just trying to get his nut off. He wasn't trying to arouse nobody. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how slick. I'm gonna tell you how slick this nigga that Bill nigga is. A pimp. I'm gonna tell you how slick this. Yes. I'm gonna tell you how slick this that nigga, nigga Bill is. Officially say, bitch, I'm trying to get a nut off. <laughs> I ain't loving your ass. Right. That's crazy. Bill reads a statement to the lawyers before questioning. In that statement, he says, "Any other details about our relationship, I will not be talking about." After he reads the statement, they proceed to say, "Well, did you get oral sex?" He was like, per my statement, I won't go into detail on that. So they couldn't get it out of him. Yeah. So they had to work Monica because they had Monica on the hook. So when they got Monica in the room, she was a woman. And what I could appreciate was the grand jury seen her as a victim because she was. So when she went before the grand jury to testify, they didn't make her talk about the sex because she was a woman. What they did was they took every time she talked about sex in those tapes and the type of sex they had, and they just made a graph. And all she had to do was point because they didn't want her to embarrass herself. Yeah. And the women on the panel started asking her questions about what happened to her. Like, she really came out of this shit looking like the golden child because she really didn't do anything wrong. She was real innocent. She didn't like she she really was really innocent, man. And I, like I said, she her whole thing was I don't want to hurt the president. I don't want to stitch on the president. I don't want Bill to get in trouble. I don't want him to get impeached. Like that's my man. So I don't want to fuck him up. Like, that's, that's, what's up. that's a real because down, what happened that's a real was, down woman. Because what happened was when the shit was they going make down, him like that in 2024. she was moving to New York to protect him. She was like, hey, hey I'm going to start my life <laughs> over. I'm going to leave you alone. You say you're going to be with me once you get out the White House. I'm going to just go to New York. So she was trying to hold Bill down. Like, she was really riding. Even to the end, she never spoke bad about Bill. She was like, nah. She just realized he never loved her. He might was watch selfish. that shit tomorrow while I work. But anyway, <laughs> um, after she give her testimony, this is how they get Bill. They call her back in. They got this woman lawyer. They say, we need her to tell like, we need her to basically say, he touched me to arouse me. And that's when they got the details. And the crazy part about it is, they daughter and the wife, they knew Bill cheated at this point. Mm-hmm. But they didn't know the, the nasty sex that was going on. This is when the internet was new. Nigga, they crashed the internet when they posted this shit online. I looked it up on CNN. I thought I sent y'all the link, but I sent y'all a piece of what happened. So basically, she tells the lady, she was like, all right, so what happened on October 17th? She's like, we was in his office, and did Mr. Clinton touch you? Yes. What did he touch you? On my vagina. She's like, I need a moment. She was like, why? She was like, I just need a moment. Took a moment. She was like, what's wrong? She was like, I just don't like the way all of this sounds. This is my private moment. She was like, I understand, but we need you to go through this. She's like, did he touch you on your vagina? She was like, yes. And what did he do? Did she like she was like, did you get did you finish? Did you reach orgasm? She was like, Yes. Now what happened on this date? She was like, We was in his office and he and uh he had a cigar in his mouth. And what did he do with that cigar? Well, he took the cigar out of his mouth and where did he put it? He put it in my vagina. <laughs> my nigga my nigga Bill <laughs> says she And she said, well, What did he do with Take the cigar? Take this Cuban. He took it out of his mouth and he said it. I taste good. Damn, I was my boy like, Bill a yo, freak. Bill is certified. Wild. First of all, my nigga Bill Freaky is on another nigga. level. And she gonna have a UTI out the ass, Definitely. Nigga. <laughs> Definitely. This nigga Bill. That shit about that spit to back. Yeah. This nigga Bill was on the phone with the prime minister getting done, bro. That's what's up. It's I, on, yo, <laughs> listeners, if you go to CNN.com, there's a, the, the shit that came out that day is still on the internet. You for that. You're right. <laughs> That's unsanitary as a motherfucker. You can read every sexual encounter they had. I know for years <laughs> niggas said he was he was getting domed, but now I see why. In the public, that was the thing that got put out there. But at that time, sex was so taboo. Reading all that dirty shit was like Reddit X. Like he was fucking. Like they were fucking. Hey man, it's, mean, hey. It is, bro. It's, a, it's a different world. But man, <laughs> he better be glad TikTok wasn't around. Oh no, nah, it would have been a twenty page yeah. Risa Tisa, uh, Monica Lewinsky. All these TikTok investigators would have figured that shit out. But I, I walked away from that true crime story with a better idea what happened. A better idea who the fuck Bill was. He wasn't no bitch ass nigga, man. Like he was a stone cold politician at the end of the day. 
And I walked away with just like just a different respect for that story. I didn't know that that story went that way. So I gotta get I gotta give it to him because I was never gonna watch that shit. Like that man. shit was really shout good. Out, man. Shout out to Bill Clinton, man. Shout man. out to the guy that played Bill Clinton. The lady that played Linda Tripp looked just like Linda Tripp. This shit had me on Google every every five minutes. I'm like, oh shit, did that really happen? 